In this Sailing Doodles, we try out the wing foil for the first time, and we have an absolutely fantastic time with the all-girl crew heading over to Maho Bay. I'm Bobby, and welcome to Sailing Doodles. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we made it to the beautiful island of St. John, which is one of our favorite places, and did some exploring. All right, uh, apparently uh, the blue mooring balls are, ah, shit, we gotta go. Well, the blue moorings during the daytime, you're only allowed to get them after 5 p.m. During the day, they're for commercial stuff, so we're gonna, there's a couple open moorings, but there's somebody coming in. I think we'll get, we'll get one before the next bird bug gets here. All right, there was three open moorings, that was nice. We're slightly further away, but we're upwind now, make it easier getting back to the boat. One thing I've been uh, looking forward to for a while, um, I just didn't have all the right parts, so I haven't done it yet, is I got this, it's called wing foiling. So basically this is an inflatable wing that you hold on to, and then I've got a foiling board, so it's basically like a stand-up paddle board with a foil underneath it, and you basically fly along the water. So I'm gonna inflate this, see if I can learn how to fly this, you know, and then uh, try not to, uh, Drift off to sea, maybe trying it later with the uh, boiling paddleboard. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna take it onto the deck up there in the wind first to kind of learn to fly it. All right, I don't know anything about this. I've watched a few videos on it. That's about it. I know that if you hold it up like this, you're just kind of but if you want to make lift, you kind of hold it like that. I feel, I feel like I might fall a few times. You should watch this. a YouTube tutorial. Yeah. I don't think there's enough wind right now. I think it's pretty light. Right. We'll see how this goes. This is going to take some practice. Again, maybe you should watch a YouTube tutorial. Well, I only managed to tweak my neck a little bit doing the, the wing boarding stuff. You did good. You got it going a little bit. Yeah, we didn't film that part, but I was able to get kind of sail around. Once I get better at it, we'll film some more. I mean, I wasn't able to stand up yet, but I could be on my knees and like hold on to the thing and kind of move around. But, Don't hurt yourself next time. Well, we, we, ought, we need to get our, a working dinghy first so that I can be rescued. That's part of the thing. But, uh, now let's go to the beach. It looks beautiful. It's actually pretty packed there too. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's... You know, when we were going to the beach before at this beach, we'd be like one of only like eight people on the beach. Now there's... It's much different. Yeah, no, yeah there's only 30 or maybe 30, 40 people there, but... All it's right. nice that they're doing well. Let's go do it and get some lunch. All right. It's breezy up here. At this point, we still didn't have a working dinghy, so we were using our paddle boards to get to and from shore. This place is definitely a lot more busy than it was last year this time. We were here last year this time, right on this very beach. One of like five people on it. I was taught, so friends of the owners of the place, and they said this is one of the best years they ever had because there's pretty much nowhere else to go. All the BVI is closed, a lot of the other islands closed, so everybody's coming to the USBI. Looks like we're gonna get some rain. Good morning. Well, how was it being back here in Keneal Bay? It was honestly really nice. It's yeah. completely different for sure than the last time we were here, but I think it was really good. I wish I got the chance to go snorkeling a little bit. We went to the beach, but I didn't bring any snorkel gear. Well, we'll do that today. We're gonna go over to Maho. I mean. I did love being here. It wasn't the same though, because yeah. there's so many more people here. Like we had a private beach last time. That was yeah. pretty cool. So. That was one of the things that COVID kind of made a little yeah. better in yeah. some ways. The fact that we had it to ourselves. But uh, it's really been not very calm here. Uh, it's been very rolly. And really, because there's a lot of wakes go by here from the big boats, and then uh, the wind's slightly out of the east northeast, and it's just not very well protected. So we're gonna go over to Maho Bay. And stay there for a night. Where we did the uh, water aerobics. <laughs> water aerobics. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch up on that. I don't know. And then uh, they've got a little beach bar and we'll do some snorkeling there and stuff. So a lot of turtles around here, so I'm sure we'll see some there. But you ready? Yeah, we've got everything almost packed up, I yep. think. So we got these new uh, paddleboard mounts for the rails. So kind of, I don't know, be pretty nice. We'll see how they work, but we're not going very far. It's 
really great having a crew that don't really have to ask you anything. They, they got it all. I mean, it's a new boat for Taylor, but we've been working together so long, she really knows what she's doing. And uh, yeah, it's really nice having a crew that knows what they're doing. I guess I need to know what I'm doing, so I need to, sorry, I need to be working right now. Oh no. <laughs> we were only moving a couple miles along the north side of St. John over to Maho Bay. Maho Bay and Francis Bay are connected along the north side of St. John, and it's one of the most beautiful spots in all of the Virgin Islands. Take him to shore. Yeah. Come on. Look at this water out here, guys. Oh my god. This is the first Oscar. time to bring Oscar to shore. So this is about to be really fun. Special we moment. A couple facts about Maho Bay. <laughs> <laughs> is that it's the home of the green sea turtle. This area is pretty protected and it's a great snorkel. It's actually, I went for a little paddleboard earlier and saw like two or three turtles already, so we're in for some treats. Alright, untie me and hopefully uh, this all works. <laughs> Don't drop all our shit to the bottom. It's the yeah, first. we've not done this yet, so we'll see. Alright, thank you guys. Bye. I'll see you all momentarily. A momentous moment for Oscar. One large step for paddle inflatable boards. Can you make it? Can you make it? Yeah. Here we go, friends. Have a blessed day. Do you want to paddle? All right. Last but not least. Here we go. Baywatch to compete with Baywatch over here. Right there. They're trying to do, they've been doing, they've been to accents for. Okay, we're done. Today, no, today I'm actually gonna do the full Australian accent all day long. All day long, long. all right. All right. Don't forget the British. Sorry about the poor audio today with, you know, I'm kidding. Actually, seriously, uh, we forgot the battery for the real camera, so we're using the GoPro, sorry. But uh, let's go get some lunch. And now uh, we're gonna leave our dock up there. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Not exactly a gourmet lunch. But, uh, we didn't have to make it. That's right. Yeah. So, cheers. 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 I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. We anchored our floating dock next to the beach and spent the rest of the afternoon having a fabulous time in the beautiful water. I'll miss you if you go.
Cruising can be challenging at times, but days like this is what it's all about. Now then, yeah. Now see if you can swivel your body around to the left. There you go. Well, I kind of told her not to get too far away from the boat because you can't get back in the paddle, but she's being rescued now by our neighbor's dinghy, thankfully. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> Day one, kite control, almost went to the yacht out there, but it's pretty great. I'm gonna do it tomorrow and hopefully I'll stand up. Here we go, can't foil board, so I might as well jump off the boat. Yoo! How you doing, Taylor? Pretty good, I'm just chilling. I haven't got quite as much energy as uh, Sydney. Yeah, she's like a- She's a champ, yeah. she's an athlete. How are you liking the uh, motor yacht life? It's very good. Like I think sailing is more for the adventure and like the little bit of adrenaline that you get whereas this is more for comfortable cruising and relaxation. Is that a good summary, Bobby? I would tend to agree. She's wise. She's just wise. Guys, pina colada time. Pina, pina colada. On the dark side. Pina Cheers. Cheers to you guys too. Thank you for watching. Good job, Bobby. Bobby's job. the bartender today. Well done. Yeah. Mm. Well done. Delicious. I'll take it. I'll take it. What do you got here? I just got a chili and a salad going on. Feeds the meat lovers and the uh, vegetarians. That's her. Everybody's happy. Yep. Power to the V. Got so Taylor cooks. was the excellent cook tonight. What it would uh oh we got a little smoke. Uh -oh. Sorry, explain just what you got first. Here first. Uh well just rice and curry and kale salad. That's really good. Excellent. Sorry, you got so good. Cheers. Nice family to dinner. A, yeah. Oh yeah, that's mine's fun. down here. Yeah, that's right. To a nice family dinner. Cheers. 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 Ma'am. The dark side. To get early access to videos and exclusive patron-only videos, go to patreon.com slash sailingdoodles.